Pregnancy is a beautiful journey that a mother shares with the life that takes form in her. But this is unfortunately not the case for women with preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a pregnancy-related disorder in which the mother develops high blood pressure, kidney impairment with restricted fetal growth in the later part of her pregnancy. But the problem, however, starts at the very beginning when there's defective placenta formation that subsequently leads to the clinical spectrum of preeclampsia when there's increased stress on that susceptible placenta. Now, there's no treatment for preeclampsia at present, though I'm confident we will get there in the near future. In the meantime, however, the aim is to identify these women who are at risk and administer aspirin to prevent preeclampsia. Sounds pretty straightforward, doesn't it? But it is unfortunately not the case. Studies that have demonstrated the benefit of aspirin have interestingly only shown a modest risk reduction of 20% and only when administered before 16 weeks of gestation, with the lack of benefit thereafter. Now, surely, there must be a reason why we're not doing better with the use of aspirin here. Smaller studies have suggested that perhaps the use of a higher dose of aspirin, or its use at night and its non-coated form, may be of added benefit. But it is this unanswered questions that makes life rather challenging for clinicians like myself and my colleagues for when we prescribe and advise the use of aspirin in high-risk women. Which is why I've embarked on this scientific journey to try and unfold this story. My research is aimed at identifying the mechanism by which aspirin prevents preeclampsia. And I'm looking specifically at the anti-inflammatory role of aspirin on placenta development. I'm also looking to understand the reason behind the lack of benefit beyond 16 weeks of gestation and I'm concurrently examining to see if there's a dose-dependent effect between 100 and 150 milligrams, and if at all it's used at night and in the non-coated form makes a difference to the overall outcome. This study is currently ongoing, and I've made an incidental little finding along the way. Interestingly, 28% of the women enrolled in my study are actually not taking their prescribed aspirin. And for the very first time, we have biochemical evidence for this so that perhaps it's just a little bit more to this story. My aim ultimately is to help clinicians everywhere utilize aspirin effectively in preventing preeclampsia and allowing these high-risk women to enjoy that beautiful journey of pregnancy that they rightfully deserve. Thank you.